Let's bring blood flow to the foot and the penis. Namaste, welcome gentlemen. It's Anita Tadavarthi. I'm a licensed acupuncturist with over 20 years of experience. I've also treated over 100,000 patients in my lifetime. Today, I wanna share with you a super relaxing nighttime protocol to help increase circulation to the foot and the penis. Before we jump into it, gotta ask all of you, if there's certain topics you wanna know more about, please comment down below and I'll put it into the posting schedule for you. A common pattern that I see in my practice is poor circulation to the foot and to the penis. When there is poor circulation to the penis, you may also be struggling with erectile dysfunction. This is a really smart protocol and this can help you if you are struggling with blood pressure, blood sugar, if you have an injury to the foot, if you have neuropathy, this protocol can also help you to sleep. This protocol can also help to balance hormone. It's really important that we use this protocol wisely. Also, if I'm able to help you and your doctor balance hormone and for you to help sleep regularly, that's going to increase circulation and energy for you. The beautiful thing about Chinese medicine is that we have various images. And in Chinese medicine, there are two images of the foot that is really helpful. The bottom of the foot and the top of the foot represents the root of the genitalia. And each of the toes represent the penis, eggplant, or genitalia. And also the lower leg represents the entire body. So we can actually use the intelligence of Chinese medicine to bring blood flow not only to the foot, but the whole body and also to the penis, eggplant, and genitalia. So this is a really relaxing protocol that you can do for two minutes. It can also help you to relax and sleep. Let me show you on my foot how to do it. Now, before we do this, remember with all acupressure, there is a doubling and a tripling multiplying effect if you can pair acupressure with nasal breathing. You can do any type of nasal breathing that you want, but the type that I like to do is breathe from your abdomen or chest, mouth closed, breathing from one or both nostrils. The speed is really up to you. If you decide to go fast or rapid, do it seated down or laying down. If you wanna go slowly, then you can also last longer and you can be comfortable doing it at a slower pace. So with that, you'll hear me in the background doing nasal breathing. So let me show you what's a nice protocol to do at nighttime to help you to bring circulation to the foot and the penis. This can also help you with sleep and blood circulation in general. Here we go. Be sure to alternate between doing one foot one night and doing the other foot the other evening. From the knee, to the ankle represents the entire body. It also represents the lower back and the lower abdomen. And then the meridians involved, whether it be kidney, spleen, or liver can actually help you balance that hormone, thyroid or testosterone. Of course, with all erectile dysfunction and hormone related issues, do work with your medical doctor. But these protocols can help you along with your doctor's recommendation. The ankle represents the prostate and the P spot. And then both the bottom and top of the foot represents the root of the genitalia and the toes represent the eggplant, penis, or genitalia. So what's a really nice way to unwind and bring blood flow to the foot as well as to the entire body and the lower leg and to the eggplant, penis or genitalia as the toes represent the penis is to simply acupress just like this. When you go along the foot, be sure to hit the medial aspect of the foot as it balances out the entire body. And then be sure to hit the wrist or the ankle as it represents the prostate. And then we'll want to hit the top and the bottom of the foot pushing the blood flow to the toes, which represent the penis. This will bring blood flow and blood circulation to the lower leg, foot, toes, the whole body, and, at, and to the genitalia and penis specifically as the toes represent the penis. 
Here we go for the next two minutes. Don't forget to nasal breathe. You'll hear me do that in the background. Don't forget to alternate between both feet and don't forget to practice nasal breathing while you're doing the acupressure. Choose from any one of our protocols. Get in the habit of doing a protocol or a few points morning, afternoon, and evening. I'm not asking more than about 15, 20 minutes of your time. You'll know when to stop and work with the recommendations of your medical doctor. If there are other topics you wanna to know more about, comment down below. And if you have a lady friend, have her head on over to TikTok and Instagram, Great Women's Health there. And whether you're watching us on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, we are doing great things here at Empirical Grace. We're using all the monetization money to help fund a free clinic in my hometown of Washington, D.C. If you want to give a donation, it's the first link in the description and the first link in the link tree. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I wish you all the very best in being a man on the planet. From your friend and acupuncturist, Anita Tedder. It's Anita Tadavarthi. I want to use my 20 years of clinical experience in giving you the best of self-care acupressure protocols to help you along the way. Please comment down below and let us know if these protocols are helping you. Most patients report that they see results within a few weeks to a few months. And if there are topics that you want to know more about, comment down below. Your feedback shapes our content and also want to give you a special message that we at Empirical Grace are doing just amazing things. We are putting the monetization money from social media towards establishing a free clinic in the Washington DC area. I am from the Washington DC area originally, and this has been my lifelong dream. So just know that as you watch our videos, the monetization money is going towards a great cause. And if you want to donate, you can do so using the first link in the bio. Thank you so much for believing in us. And I wish you all the very best in being a man on the planet. From your friend and acupuncturist, Anita Tadavarthi. We would like to thank Anita's friends and business contacts who donated their time, money, and medical supplies to the Rapely Free Clinic. We're here in my grandfather's um, marriage hall, which is now being converted into our clinic or free hospital. 
we have been here for four months and we have treated about a thousand patients with over eight or nine thousand patient visits. Most of the patients are farmers and agricultural workers, so a lot of the things that they're dealing with is uh, pains, lots of different types of pain.